Hi, I'm Adele from OurFamilyLife.co.uk and today with the help of InternetMatters.org I'm going to talk to you about parent controls and restrictions on an iPhone. A recent survey by InternetMatters.org has found that in the UK 65% of children aged 8 to 11 now own a smartphone. Now that's no surprise to me because I have a daughter, she has a smartphone and that's the way she communicates with all her friends. What I'm going to show you today is just a few restrictions um, that you can set on an iPhone. So things like browser access, app access, um, restricting in-app purchases, um, social networking, inappropriate content, uh, sharing location so that you can turn that off so that they can't actually share where they are because that's one of my worries of you know my daughter saying where she is. Um, sharing data that's another one media streaming and online gaming I'm just going to show you a few things uh, that you can set on your child's phone that will allow them to be online just that little bit safer let's get started okay so if your child has one of these and he's constantly doing this what? or this Or this. I know, I just literally, I know, that's what I said. Oh my God. Then keep watching and I'm going to tell you how to set some restrictions just to keep them a little bit safer online. So if you've got the iPhone in front of you, you can go to the home screen, which is the main first page. Usually the settings are located on there. Um, please excuse the red strip across the top, that's just um, the software that I'm using to record my iPhone. So what you need to do is, if you go to settings, press that, settings, and then you'll see this list. If you go down to restrictions, and then if you click on enable restrictions it's going to ask you for a passcode it's a four digit passcode and um, it's something that you can obviously keep safe don't give it to your child so if you press enable restrictions at the top ask you for the passcode and it asks you for the passcode again so now you can see that all these lists in everything in this list is actually active so when the little green bar is on, that means that they can use all these things on this phone. If you want to stop them from using the internet, you just simply press the little green bar and it will swipe to off. Same if you want to say you don't want them to, to use FaceTime, you press this and it will go off. Keep going down and have a look. In-app purchases is a really good one to turn off. This means that if they've downloaded an app that's a game, they can't get caught in just buying things without realising. So turn in-app purchases off. And then if you keep going down, you've got various different things. So you can do individual websites, you've got apps. Um, so here you can allow particular individual age groups. So you can allow all apps or you can just allow... 4 plus, 9 plus, 12 plus um, and you can leave off the 17 and allow all apps. So you just tick whichever one you want to keep. So you want to just keep the 4 plus or you want to keep the age 4 and 9 or you want to keep up to the age of 12. Tick those three and that means that they're set. So they can't download any apps that are age 17 and over. That's a really good one. Visit internetmatters.org, um, it's a website for parents and carers that you'll find so much information and help on there of how to set restrictions, tutorials and tips and tricks that you can do to keep your children safe online. We're a family of bloggers so come and visit us at ourfamilylife.co.uk and see what we get up to. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you found it useful. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye.